Welcome back to this week's Start Show. I'm going to start off with looking at Stoke's collapse last weekend. Stoke started strongly against Bournemouth and arguably played the best 30 minutes of football that we have seen this season. We totally dominated Bournemouth and the stats reflect this. Paul Lambert's men were in dominant form in the early minutes of the game, completing four times more shots than Bournemouth and more than double the tackles and interceptions. However, this form did not last and Stoke entirely slipped off a cliff in the second half, with many putting this down to a lack of fitness due to the former regime, and the stats reflect this. Stoke slipped significantly in the last 70 minutes of the game, producing a lower expected goals total in those than in the opening 30 minutes. Stoke appeared to be the orchestrators of their own downfall, as the passing in this later period dropped to only a 59% success rate, down from 78% in the first half. Bournemouth leapt on top of the already weakened Stoke, and whilst their two goals were relatively lucky, expected goals suggest that they were deserved. The amount Bournemouth pushed the Potters back is shown by the huge amount of tackles and interceptions that Stoke had to make. The poorest performer in the Bournemouth match was for many Peter Crouch, and this is symbolic of a wider issue that the club is struggling to have a prolific frontman who can be relied upon. Some have called for the gauntlet to be handed down to 18-year-old hot prospect Tyrese Campbell, who has been on fire for the under-23 so far this season. Campbell has scored 14 in 20 so far this season, working out at roughly a goal every game and a half. Now obviously the jump up from youth football to the Premier League will be by no means easy, and whilst these stats may not demand that Campbell be given the shot, it would hardly be a ridiculous experiment to make, with Crouch and Juve not contributing double figures between them so far this season. So moving on to the big lingering question of Stoke survival. The Bournemouth match provided to be a kick in the teeth, and has left many genuinely concerned about our future in the division. Looking at the average points of each position in the past five seasons, we see that Stoke is somewhat unlucky to be in 18th place on 14 points at this stage, and should be 17th or 16th. It is also clear what Stoke needs to do to ensure survival. 39 points has been enough to guarantee safety over the past five seasons, meaning the Potters need to claim 15 points from our remaining 12 games to ensure safety. So that's it for this week's stat show. Let us know if you think that Stoke will stay up in the comments below. Leave the video a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the Bear Pit TV.